E55 checkup. Today it's Saturday, 17th of September 2022. Yesterday I just opened the oil cap. All right, just like I said, for highlights. <coughs> Excuse me. So, let's start the checkup. Has a small lip, not something crazy. All right, brake patch looks okay. Four week of 22. It's outside, looking beautiful, looking excellent. All right, nice. In, whoop, we have an inner axle boot that said goodbye. Same thing with this one. All right, diff dry, coupler tired, if you like. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Looking good. Looks like it's been replaced. Yeah, sand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You see what's happening with the gears? See the pipe. That's a classic. Like the most rubber things, parts, let us see, of the car. Outside, four week of 22, outer brake, but yeah, it looks nice. Fine, let's see the front one. Alright. Outside, fifth week of 22, looking good, looking good. Lower arms been replaced, refurbished, suspension, nothing wrong with that, all right. Fine, if it's not leaking and it's operating fine, it's okay, it's welcome, it's good. <coughs> yeah, it's okay. Outside. Fifth week of 22, looking good, looking beautiful. Now, nothing wrong other than the two inner axle boots and the drives of rubber coupler. All right, till here, let's see the front, also the front one, the front one, all right. Transmission mount, it's in the middle. It's not bad, it's not new, it's not old, let us say. It's 50% healthy. I'm assuming that they have already replaced the oil in the filter on the transmission, but here, <coughs> where's the plug? It's fully wet. Let's open the plug. And it's missing also the cover here, by the way. And, oh shit, take a look how much transmission oil has inside the plug. That's not a good sign. This is not a good sign. It's easy to change the seals here, it, you know, it's not a big deal to change the seals. So when you make a service and you see such a thing, or even if you don't see such a thing, just change the stupid seals, you know. It can be good. And somebody opened, like I said, the cover and he never placed it back in place. These things, they are cracking. All right. I'm just watching inside the torque converter. All right, then, yeah, there is a leak from the cover, cylinder head cover. It's missing the bolt from the uh, pipe for the power steering. Somebody was there. It's leaking also this. Hold on a second to see. Yep, it's leaking also this cover. Both the ground okay, the ground okay. Then we, saw, we have here fluid from the steering rack it looks like because everything on top it's dry but the steering rack ah the boot of the steering rack it's raped and it's leaking if i open it's supposed to be full of uh, hydraulic fluid inside same thing from this side so either need to be replaced or repair the steering rack with the two 
uh, string rack boots or a tie rod boot, protection boot, call it as you like. Okay, like I said, lower arms looks new. Looks like it's brand new actually, yeah. Fine. Fine, the belts looks okay. The damper pulley seal, it's not leaking. The alternator has been replaced recently. It looks like a brand new. Fine, fine, fine. That means the owner, he takes care of his car. You see the lower arms, you see the tires, you see the brakes, you see the alternator, let us say. You see that they make maintenance on the transmission. So he takes take care of the car. It's not like he's just only driving and he's not making maintenance. Fine. Just let me grab a rug. Oh no, I'm going to wash my hands. I'm coming back. A second for you. Okay. Then let's move on. We have it's not touching the oil pan on the stabilizer bar. It looks like that they have replaced the stabilizer bar because of the bushes. Probably. Fine. Uh, engine mounts yeah it's okay it's okay it's i'm gonna say that they're 50 percent healthy like the transmission mount why because not touching the oil pan on the stabilizer bar usually when they go bad the engine mounts you see the oil pan you have seen the previous videos the oil pan is touching on the stabilizer bar nothing new here all right fine fine nothing Wrong here front, I don't see any leak. Now, what I'm gonna do now? There are some people, ah, somebody was here before. This, the amount of sealant that has the cover, the oil pan. I doubt it will be from the factory. Nope, I doubt. It's just too much. Usually, this is the amount of sealant from the factory up, not this one. This is not. All right. Just a second. Yes, shit. We didn't cover any number plate on the other cars. I don't want to point in any number plate. Okay, let's do it like this. Let's do it like that. This oil, it's the power steering fluid. When I open the covers, you see how much oil has there and there. This from the transmission. This is from the uh, steering rack. Now. Some people they will gonna say ah it's a head gasket. Some other people they're gonna say it's the seals on the timing cover. Some other people they're gonna say that ah you know what it cracked the cylinder head or um, or let us say the car went with the owner for swimming and didn't drain the water let us say the sea water from the uh, from the engine. See it's not a guessing game. It didn't came it didn't send the car here the customer for me to start guessing. All right, it came here for checkup. And me, I'm not getting something granted. Because, let us say, it happened on the previous 55 that it failed, let us say, the seals on the timing cover. I'm not going to say, ah, this is for sure, timing cover seals. I'm going to make some checks. I'm going to check the car. And then I'm going to see what's the problem. It's not about, you know, some people, they're saying that, you know what, because when you start the car and it's a cold weather and you don't warm up, warm up properly, you're going to collect some moisture, some milkshake color, let us say, on the cap. Yes. Here in this country, there is no cold, there is no cold start. There is no winter. All right. Uh, second, you're gonna say you're gonna say to me, ah, you know, Tassos is the orange. Tassos is the gasket. It's pointless, and to me, it's a little bit stupid. You know, because with one way, I'm not even hearing myself. I'm going like I never have anything to do with this car. I have never seen, let us say, not the not the specific car in general. This type of cars. All right. It's completely white, let us say. You have a white page and you have to fill it up with evidence. Fine? And you start looking, what's going on? What, what did fail? What's the problem? I'm not considering, let us say, that the, ah, you know what? The previous 55 had a problem with the head gasket. The previous, previous head, uh, 55 had a problem with the timing cover seals. It's not like that. You're making the checks, you know, you're checking it, you make some tests, and then you come to a conclusion. You're not because a friend of a friend or because of another owner, let us say, it happened to him and was that this doesn't mean that it's going to happen also on this one. We are talking about 16 years old car, almost 200,000 kilometers. Okay, well maintenance, yes. I don't see any upgrades, yes. So I don't think so. They changed even the pump. They might. I have to check the part number. Yeah, okay. Never mind about that. The intercooler pump I'm talking about. So. <clears throat> 
to start comment, especially on Instagram, there is another guy who said, ah, it's normal. Okay, so that means it's normal that does have a coolant inside of the expansion tank, and I should give back to the customer the car and drive it like that. Okay. Then you're gonna see, you're gonna need a crankshaft, you're gonna need connecting ropes, you're gonna need one million things because everything inside has been contaminated. 101, like I said, what I'm gonna do? Grabbing some tools, make some tests, and see what's going on. Checking it, do your job. Not guessing, not a friend of a friend of a friend of mine, and one friend, he said that this is the problem. No, it's not like that, <laughs> all right? Now, let me bring the transmission jack and a clean pan to drain the engine oil, simply. Now, clean bucket, all right, drain plug, 13 millimeters. Let's open it. Nah, I don't like that go sideways. Let me get the let me get the socket. I don't like it. Yep, like that it's much better, right? And I just throw down the bucket. How lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. Come back. Fine, fine. Let's make a mess now here. You remember the trick how to don't come dirty your hand when you want to drain the oil? You remember the trick? You have to put somebody else to remove for you the drain plug. Like this, you're not gonna come dirty. <laughs> your fingers or your hand. <laughs> Alright, so you see the color? This is just this is not just only moisture on the covers up because of the cold start and that you didn't warm up correct the engine. Fine, did I make myself clear? Alright. Oh boy. How lovely. It's not about only the okay that it mixes, let us say, the coolant with the oil. It's about that you're contaminating everything inside. Plus, you have a steel camshaft. You have the bridge with the steel shafts. You have the crankshaft. You have so many steel parts inside that if you keep it long, you're going to see that all of them there inside, you're going to be corroded. You're going to have some rust on it. I've seen that before. That's why I'm saying that. <laughs> That's the worst thing. Uh, as soon as you see that something's wrong, let us say the coolant level goes down or something, take action. Don't continue driving the car like that. I'm not saying to come here, I'm saying just <laughs> fix it. That's what I'm saying. All right, leave it to drain. I'll go and get the bucket out because we are going to make a test here to see what's going on. Step two, leak tester for the radiator, all right. The engine's cold. I'm gonna raise it up to 15 psi. One bar, all right? I drain the oil. It's not running the engine. So whatever coolant you're gonna enter in the engine, you're gonna come out as a coolant. You're not gonna have the chance to mix up with the oil. Because no heat, no vibrations, no pressure or something, let us say, no nothing. Makes sense to you? Let's pressurize it to see what's gonna happen. This will gonna indicate, let us say, if there is a burnhead gasket and it's uh, throwing some water coolant, let us say, inside of the cylinders, I'm gonna be able to see that. If it starts coming coolant out of the drain plug, 99.9%, you have a failure with the seals on the timing cover. Let's find out. 15 psi and it's dropping down. I hope that you understand that the needle is moving. All right. Now, because of the design of the oil pan, we're not going to see direct the water from there. You can still see some of this. Yeah, first we're going to push out the oil that has the front oil pan. Then we're going to start coming some water out, or coolant. What I'm going to do? Yeah, the rate it goes more. You see it's dropping more. I'm going to bring a different bucket. Because this bucket is almost full. Not full, it's full of oil, actually. Yeah, you see... It's leaking with more rate, if you like. And pressure goes down. 
Yep. I'll get a resource a little bit more up the car, no need to be so low. Pressure rising again at 15 psi. Alright. Bring a clean bucket here. Alright. Now, how are we gonna do it without making a mess? No worries, we're gonna do it. Like this way. We're gonna have some mess. Alright. That's it. That's fine. I'm gonna repeat that two, three times to see how it's gonna be. Oh boy. It's like a cappuccino, I think. Has a similar color. Yeah. We need a cookie to have a good breakfast. 8.30 in the morning, Saturday. How beautiful is that? Let's move on. Let's see the pressure now. It went again. Yeah, 13 PSI. See what's going on. If it has a blown head gasket, it's difficult, let us say, to pass. It is, it is possible, but it's difficult to pass it down in the crankcase. As soon as I'm pressing, the most suspect, let us say, it's the uh, seals. All right? But... It's different to change the head gasket, different labor, different procedure, different things, and different to change the two seals from the timing cover. Now, what about the valve seals? How long is running like this engine? I have no clue. Only the owner, he knows that. And sometimes even the owner, he does know how long this is happening. When he see the low coolant, most probably they put some coolant inside and I was continuing driving it. Now, all the seals, the seals for the oil filter housing, the cover seals up here, all the seals, when you have this contamination inside, they go bad. Even if they're not leaking now, later on they will gonna leak, unfortunately. All right. Let's go back at 15 PSI to see what's going on. That's what I'm doing now. It fell down to 10 PSI, I'm putting 15 PSI. 10 PSI, 15 PSI, until I understand from down what's going on. Uh, I'm gonna turn manually the engine, I don't want to crank it, just in case if it ending up coolant inside of the cylinders. I don't want to hydrolock the engine. All right, you never know. Then I'm gonna repeat it again. All this mess what you see here and this mess what you see here, it's not just moisture because you don't wanna warm up the engine. If you have a little bit on the cap, yes, but not that much. I hope that I make myself clear. Yep. Yeah. I believe that the third or fourth time we just start coming coolant out from there. I didn't have to pump it for the third time. Or it was either it was the second or the third time. Alright. See what's going on here. See what comes out from the oil pump. See that? That's a coolant. Yep. Is it fine with you now? Is it clear? Now this, by 99%, you can, you can clearly see that's a coolant. 99%, we are talking about the seals on the timing cover. Let's make also one video for Instagram to answer to this guy that he says that it's just a moisture because it didn't warm up the customer attention. <laughs> Oh boy, I hope, I hope that not, he's not a mechanic. <laughs> I hope that he's not a mechanic. All right, now, let's smoke half cigarette and say a couple of things. Hides the story. Coolant thermostat. Water pump or water pump seal or both. It depends if it can ever change the water pump. Fine. All right. So what I said, thermostat, upper radiator hose, low radiator hose. Radiator need to come out to be washed, oil cooler need to come out to be washed, oil cooler lines need to, be, to come out and need to be washed. Find the o-rings for the oil cooler lines, the o-ring, the seal that has between the thermostat here, this is the engine oil thermostat located here, the seals between the housing 
to the oil filter housing. The oil filter housing sealed down there. Oil filter obviously, engine oil obviously. Water pump looks like that's never been replaced. At least I don't see, I don't see nice and shiny. Let us say like the alternator. Fine. Cylinder head cover seals. Cylinder head cover need to be resealed again. Need to be painted because comes apart because magnesium. Classic like all the time. You need to when you open the oil pump down when we. If decide the owner and he wants to do the job and we open the oil pan down, need to be washed from up all this garbage that has the contamination, all right? And even, I haven't even pressurized and still leaking down or what? It's zero. Yeah, it's stop. Okay, if I press uh, again, it can start leaking. Yeah, so uh, where was I? need too much washing, need also the heater core pipe that's what, they cancel it? they block it? alright ok that's a small ah, the small water pump it's been unplugged <laughs> you don't unplug it and you are not blocking it, it's not working like that <laughs> dang it how many times I have to say that? Yeah. The block the heater core pipe. You are looping it. You are not blocking it. They put a spark plug. Take a look. How, how much clever you have to be? You have to close the circuit. You have to connect it there. You are not blocking it. <laughs> What's wrong with these guys? I don't know. Anyhow. This we need to address it. Alright. I don't know. Maybe has a coolant leak inside the heater core. Maybe the customer he doesn't want the heater core or something, but with one way or the other, this pipe needs to be connected with the pump on that pipe. Fine. <laughs> These some guys that are hopeless. Uh, then, timing cover seals, both of them, oil pickup tube, o-ring, obviously. Uh, I think I mentioned engine oil, oil filter, classic. Coolant, classic. Uh, the engine oil, the first engine oil that we're gonna put inside, it's gonna run for 500 kilometers only and then you have to get rid of the oil and the filter all right because it has 200,000 kilometers I'm gonna advise to change also the supercharger oil it doesn't look like that anybody touched the plug over there like I said all of them they are optional the customer he might get the, the car and he might go for some to some other place let's say to get a different opinion it's fine there is no problem at all I'm just making a checkup and I'm saying what need to be done fine then we need to see if it passes inside of the supercharger on the cooling system of the supercharger some of the this milkshake it might be inside and might need to be washed it's not a big deal you just put fresh water let's say from one side you remove it from the other side and everybody happy fine this this job it's involving so much cleaning it's involving to change some seals all right that's that's where is the time and where's the uh, where's the price and the time fine the label it's much more labor than the parts it's a headache yes it is a headache do I want to do that no I don't want to do that I have done this before I believe it's enough you're doing one two three five ten cars let's say sometimes it has to stop right it can go to somebody else that's why I'm saying that if you have a similar problem you can go to any garage and fix that you don't have to come here you know just tell them to change for you the seals for the front timing cover. Most probably, you saw the test what I did, right? Okay, if they don't know, tell them, repeat this test, make a leak tester there, drain the oil and see if it's coming cooling down. 99% you are doing with the seals. You have to deal with the seals. Then, 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 even if it's a head gasket, even let us say that it has a blown head gasket, all right? And uh, for, with one way or the other, it's leaking inside of the oil pan. Fine, fine. With all this contamination, to change the o-rings and the o-ring for the oil pickup tube and to open down the oil pan, it's a must. That means you're not going to just, in this condition, even if it's a head gasket only, you're not going to open only the, head gas the cylinder heads and you're going to change the two head gaskets and then you're going to close by again everything. It's not like that, obviously. You're going to change the seals, you're going to make sure that everything is going to be okay. You're going to open it once and you're not going to have any headache. I'm not saying taking out the pistons, connecting all the cranks and all these things. I'm saying that with one way or the other, you have to take care about the o-rings because it's well known that they're leaking. Fine, or let us say the seals that has the housing here on the timing cover or the water pump seal, 
the thermostat, this kind of stuff. That's what I'm saying. Don't confuse yourself. Don't start saying words that I'm not saying. Fine. Uh, then, another two things, three things that I want to check. One is the auxiliary battery. The other one is the main battery back. And then fuel filter and fuel pump. The center unit back to see if there is any leak. Again, we're talking about 16 years old car. We're talking about 200,000 kilometers, almost. You're not saying that, aha, okay, it'll gonna be fine. Nope. Like I said, you're not guessing. You're checking. You're testing, and then you get your conclusions. I hope that I make myself clear. And when you're closing, when you're blocking the heater core pipe, do not block it. Just loop it. Fine. Let's see the dates of the batteries and what battery has on it. All right, the auxiliary battery looks like that it is 21, probably. Fine. It's a boss. Usually they have a stickers on the boss. I'm putting a sticker if it's not the original one, because the original one has different. I guess it's supposed to be 21. Uh, usually the sticker of the boss, I'm putting the sticker on the battery, like I said, and another one sticker, there is one uh, small paper, I'm putting the glove box to have the owner as a reference when he, when he changed it. That was the one that I opened the nut here. It was not open, obviously. All right. Regarding the pollen filter, we are in a dusty country. It's a good thing to change it. It came some dust out when I took it out. All right. And the air filters. Yeah, I need to come out to see. Also, later on, we're going to put the guys to remove one spark like per bank to see the condition. Let's go back, keep it as it is. Let's go back to see the main battery. Since it has aftermarket auxiliary battery, I guess that we can have also aftermarket main battery. It's not going to be the OEM. Nothing wrong with that, I'm just saying. Fine. Yep, it has a Varta. Nothing wrong with that. I just don't have a way how to read the date. All right, is it bolted down? Yes, it is bolted down. That's a good one. Happy. The pipe was in place. Fine. Here we see a couple of belts. And here one air duct over there. This is a dipstick. Yeah, most probably. Yeah, this is an oil dipstick. Yep. All right. Good. Nice. Well done. I hope that more most more owners they're gonna have a fire extinguisher with them and good like this one. Is it being expired? <laughs> I hope don't be expired. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Next service <laughs> June 7, 2019. Yeah, okay. Go make one service on that. It's a good one. It's a good thing that you have a fire extinguisher, you know, but at least go check it out. Since you have it, it's not a big deal, it's not costing much money, you know? <laughs> now, let me open the rear seats to, to see the fuel pump in the center unit. <laughs> Alright, let's open some covers now. I was laughing with the Fire user because I was like... I said, how nice customer, you know? He, he's, he's thinking about the safety. You might save your car, you might save someone else. On the street, you know, he has a big, nice fire extinguisher and he doesn't care about the weight of the fire extinguisher. And then you're lifting it up and you see that it's been expired since 2019. <laughs> and you have, you have a fuel filter or sender unit that's leaking fuel. You see this mark on the fuel tank? You see the mark on the pump? This is a fuel leak. Address it. Don't keep it like that. Once again. Because I make it check up, this doesn't mean that I'm gonna be the one that's gonna fix the car. Maybe the customer he'll gonna decide to go somewhere else. It's okay, it's a free world, all right? It's an open market, he can go wherever he wants. If you don't see any other part, let us say, of this car, don't ask ah, what happened with the 55. It's just the customer, he took it and he went somewhere else. It's fine, it's perfect, fine, right? So it's different checking up the car, different repairing it. All right, let's see from this side what's happening. At least the fire extinguisher, I saw the cage and has a pressure inside. Something is up, right? 
it's not like that lose the pressure oh boy oh yep it's smelling petrol it's leaking more bad than the other one wow. and one terminal it's a little bit black yep yep how beautiful is that yeah you remember what i said regarding the Farex and Qset. so the guys that have my set since more than 10 years old take care about uh, your car and have one Farex and Qset. i remember that the kids was it's green yeah nice let's fill up the job card it's gonna be nice to just be moisture on the cover you know it's gonna be so much amazing to just be some moisture let us say here on the cover make an oil change you know give it back to the customer and everybody happy but no no it has to be the difficult way and you know it's not about i'm not complaining it's all about the time that i have six engines i have transmissions i have how many things no it's not six engines six engines i have now here forget what's outside and what's remaining what's waiting actually it's about a, these things i'm the one that is doing it I'm, i mean i'm gonna put the guys to remove for me the parts to prepare some parts but at the end, I have to inspect it. I have to clean it again because I'm not going to be satisfied. I'm not going to be cleaned as I want to be cleaned. It's happening all the time. It's not the first time. All right. Don't think that, ah, okay, everything is ready and I'm just going and putting it back together. It's not like that. The guys that are coming here, my friends and some owners, they have seen that one million times. It's not something new. It's about that I have to spend, let us say, one day on this car. And I can just building engines inside or doing some other stuff. Anyhow, it is what it is. There is only one way to fix it with the right way. Never shortcut. Never, ever shortcut. Doesn't matter how much busy I am. If I do one job, it's going to be with the right way. And like I said before, if somebody doesn't like that one, if it doesn't like the company or the owner or somebody, there's no problem. The owner, if he doesn't like, let us say, he can go to any other place to fix for him faster and cheaper. Or let us say from the company, if they don't like, they can just fire me. I can, if they ask me, I can resign even by my own. There's no problem. No hard feeling. Fine. Clear. That's it. Let's go to fill up the job card. I have to make up the car again. I have to double check again. I set the inner axle boot. And since we're going to remove the axles out, all, change all four of them to have a peace of mind. <clears throat> we need to ask if he ever changed the rear differential oil. Uh, we need to ask what they did on the transmission. The seals for the plug of the transmission. The plug of the transmission need to be washed. The steering rack that's mis that's leaking from inside and the boots are open. The steering rack is supposed to don't leak. The boots are there to don't be contaminated, to don't come sand on the shaft, to don't start wearing out and start leaking. If it's leaking, you need to address it. It's not about putting a new boots. By putting two new boots, let us say you're gonna be okay for a month and then you're gonna see start coming fluid down and leaking. Fine. The job, like I said, for the timing cover. Obviously, when you finish on this job, you just get a leak tester. You put some cooler. You don't put oil inside. Everything's nice and cleaned down. And you make the same test before you add cooler inside. So to make sure that you fix the problem. It's simple. Right? Or you can seal it and say you can make a leak test before you open the timing cover. Like uh, what I have done before to see that it's leaking from there. I'm going to repeat again this. I'm not done let us say ah by the way by the way what i saw yesterday i saw marks here you know what's this marks here not on the fender inside of the fender this one this means that they put a bridge before on the car and they hook up the engine most probably that's why i saw the sealant on the oil pan that somebody was there they remove the cross member they hook up the engine from here probably i hope so and they open the oil pan, I don't know for what reason, maybe they change the already the oil pickup tube or ring, the seal down, it might be. So that's the story for now with A55. As far as I know, it's not a pre-purchase checkup. As far as I know, it's owner that he sent the car here. It's well maintained, the car, from about, about the tires, about the brakes, about the suspension. It looks like it's take care about the car. This is something that 
it's not easy to spot to understand what's going on as a driver, let us say. He saw that the coolant goes down, let us say, example. He saw some oil inside and he took action, he sent it at the garage. I hope that he didn't keep it like this for a long time. And I don't think so that he keep it like this for a long time. It's, he's not careless. He's not, it looks like that he's taking care about the car. It, it doesn't have any up, update, any upgrade, let us say, the car. Also, the fire executioner, some people, they're going to say it's extra weight. I'm going to throw it out. Very good. Inside the interior, it's excellent. I don't know the guy, by the way. I don't know the owner, but you can see that the interior, and ex outside and inside the car, it's beautiful. It's excellent for the mileage and for the year of the car. So, that's what I have to say. Sweating. I haven't turned on their conditions. How dumb I am. Why? Why, Tassos? Why you make your life difficult, right? Yeah. That's it. Have a nice weekend. Thank you very much. All gonna say. If you don't see any other part of this car, that means the customer, he decides to take it and go somewhere else. If you see another part, that means we get a job and we have to fix the car. Over and out. Thank you very much.